Who is allowed to do tafsir? Nowadays, people love to have opinions on everything. Everyone wants to read the Quran and find a random verse and say, you know what, this means this, or I think this means that, and they want to talk based on their feelings. And all of this is completely incorrect. In order to do tafsir of the Quran, in order to take a verse from the Quran, from the speech of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and say this means this, you need to firstly master the various Islamic sciences. You need to master the Arabic language, its grammar, its morphology, its poetry, and the pre-Islamic poetry as well. And then you need to master the hadith, the different hadith that talked about the times when the verses were revealed and the circumstances they were revealed in and how the Sahaba understood these verses, how the Prophet understood these verses, how he applied them and regarding the application then that connects to fiqh and how rulings are derived from these verses and the usul al-fiqh, what principles do we use to make these derivations and then obviously you need to have a good fundamental base, you need to know your aqidah. So once a person masters Arabic and hadith and mustalah and fiqh and usul al-fiqh and aqidah and several other sciences, then he can open the Quran and read a verse and say, this is the speech of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and he intended by this so and so and such and such.